Eric Hoffer once said, in times of change, learners inherit the earth, while the learned find themselves beautifully equipped to deal with the world that no longer exists. Well, times are changing. The world is moving so fast, and if you're not absolutely committed to learning and developing yourself, you'll be left behind. You'll be like the majority of people in this world who have a set of skills only suitable for a world that no longer exists. You'll be left behind, not just in society and the skills needed to excel and succeed there, but you will be left behind in realizing your true potential. If you are not absolutely committed to your own self-education, self-work, and self-growth, you'll never grow into the person you could have become. So I encourage you not to give up on that person. Do not give up on the person you are capable of becoming. Commit to become a lifelong learner. To learn about yourself. What makes you tick? What lights you up? What makes you grow? What excites you and creates a better you at the same time? What can you learn today that will make your future better? What can you learn, do, act on today that will make your life in the future better and the lives of people you care about? Because your influence is seen and felt by everyone in your circle. If people around you see you growing, that might inspire them to grow. If they see you do better, they might think they can do better. If you set the example, maybe they will follow. It's not only the world that is changing, you are changing too. And everyone around you is changing. You're not the same person you were a week ago, a year ago, certainly not 10 years ago. Hopefully you're better, but you're certainly not the same. Life experiences force us to change. We change our thinking, our perspective, our bodies change, our emotions change. Make sure they change for the better. And the only way to do that is with your own self-work, your own self-education your own self-development. Develop your self. Make a commitment to be that learner and learn from the greatest teachers who resonate with you. There's not one guru for every person. Find many and learn from them all. Most importantly, learn from yourself. Become self-aware aware of your own daily practices and reactions, aware of what feels good and what doesn't, aware of who feels good to be around and who doesn't. Adapt your life accordingly. If you make that commitment, today might just be the first day of the best of your life.